this video is just about discussing what an interlock kit is and how and why I decided to use this method to transfer my system from the grid to the DPU in the event of a power outage. So let's get into just what an interlock kit is and why I use it as opposed to any of the other methods. So a generator interlock kit is simply a small, usually metal device that's attached directly to the faceplate of your main panel. These kits allow you to safely connect your generator or inverter to your home's electrical system. Now why and how you connect your generator to your backup system depends on your own personal circumstances. For me, I only use my DPU for backup purposes in the event of a power outage. In my town, there's no difference in electrical rates at different times of the day. So for me, I have no real need for a time of use function. I live in a more temperate area of the country, so I can live without my heat pump or AC during most outages, although I do have enough battery power to use them if I knew the outage was only going to be for a limited period of time. We don't have a lot of lengthy outages here, so when the power does go out, I usually just turn off all my 240 volt breakers before I turn on my generator breaker. Also, my home is over 40 years old and many circuits have been added over the years. As you can see from my main panel, most of my breaker spaces have been filled. If I wanted to have my hot water heater running and access to all of the 120 volt receptacles just in my kitchen, along with the availability to get in and out of my garage, I'd only have three circuits left for the rest of my house if I had chosen, say, uh, a manual transfer switch. The main reason I chose an interlock kit is to allow access to all of my 120 volt circuits and my 240 volt circuits if I needed them. So here are the, the key benefits of a generator interlock kit. Number one is that it's safe. One of the primary benefits is that it prevents backfeeding. Backfeeding is a dangerous condition where the electricity from your generator can flow back into your utility lines. Backfeeding can electrocute utility workers who may be repairing power lines and it can damage your generator, your electrical system, or even cause fires. In many areas, backfeeding without an interlock kit can be illegal because it violates safety codes. So the interlock kit helps ensure compliance with local electrical codes. Number two is that it's easy to use. An interlock kit makes it easier to connect a portable generator or inverter to your home's electrical panel. It typically involves no need for a manual or automatic transfer switch or any other complicated wiring. Number three is that it's cost effective. Compared to installing a, a full manual or automatic transfer switch, which can be costly, an interlock kit is much more affordable. It's a budget-friendly solution for homeowners who want to safely connect their generator without spending a lot of money. And finally, number four is that it's convenient. Once installed, the interlock kit generally requires little maintenance and it doesn't involve any complex wiring or the need for periodic checks like, for example, some automatic transfer switches might. So, in summary, a generator interlock kit provides a safe, easy, cost-effective, and convenient way to use a portable generator for backup power during an outage. Now here's a quick overview of what's needed to install a 50 amp generator breaker with an interlock kit. Even though I only have one DPU at this time and can only access 30 amps, if I decide to add a second DPU in the future, I'm covered to access all 50 amps when connected to EcoFlow's 50 amp hub. Currently, I'm using a cable that converts a 50 amp cord to a 30 amp cord. Now here are the basics of what you're going to need to accomplish this goal. 
Number one, you're going to need a 50 amp generator breaker that's designed for your brand of circuit panel. Number two, you're going to need an interlock kit, again, one that fits your panel. Number three, you're going to need a 50 amp inlet box to tie into your generator breaker. And number four, you'll need some extra wires and maybe even a conduit, depending on the distance between your inlet box and the main panel. In my area, the code calls for eight gauge wires for a 50 amp breaker. I chose six gauge wires just for my own peace of mind. Those codes are something you can discuss with your electrician. As usual, unless you're really comfortable and experienced around high voltage circuit panels, I'd strongly suggest that you hire a licensed electrician to install this kit. Now, once you have all your stuff together, the first thing that, that you're going to want to do is shut off the main power to your electrical panel. Next, install the 50 amp generator breaker into your main panel. You may need to move some breakers around in your panel so that your generator breaker is on the proper side, top or bottom, depending on where your main grid breaker is located. Then you'll install the interlock kit which prevents both the generator and the main breaker from being on at the same time. You'll need to remove your main panel's faceplate and follow the directions that come with your particular interlock kit. It gets connected directly to the faceplate, so always remember the carpenter's rule. Measure twice, cut once, although in this case it's really drill once. Now you're ready to install your inlet box. I won't include the precise details because your panel may be inset or outset. Mine is inset and required a path that goes through my wall. A bit more work. If the panel is outset, all that's needed is some conduit to connect the inlet box to the main panel. Now it's just a matter of connecting the proper wires to the proper places in the main panel. Connect the black and red wires, those are your hots, to the 50 amp double pole circuit breaker terminals. In most cases, it doesn't really matter which hot goes to which terminal. But just to make sure, follow the manufacturer's instructions for your particular breaker panel. Then connect the white wire to the neutral bus bar, and then the green wire to the grounding bus bar. And finally, before you close everything up, test the system to ensure that everything works properly. And that's it. Now you're ready to connect your DPU cable to your inlet box, and you're all set to switch from grid power to your DPU batteries during a power outage.